Hello everyone, it's Benny, and welcome back to yet another update video. As you may have noticed, I haven't uploaded a lot of videos recently, and that's pretty much for the exact reason you'd expect. I've had schoolwork to do, and that's taken up a fair bit of my time. So there's that answer for everyone who just came here wondering about that. But the real reason I'm making this update video is because of the D.A.R.E. engine. As you may have noticed, right now, I've got... I've, I've changed a few things. The D.A.R.E. engine is now in Eclipse and not Vim. It's got tons of documentation comments everywhere. It's using the Java standard coding conventions with braces and not M in front of all the names and lowercase method names and whatnot. So what's going on? Why, why the sudden change? And that all boils down to the fact that the D.A.R.E. engine is really a much more sort of traditional sort of open source project than anything else I've done. It's not part of a tutorial series. It's not intended as sort of a point of reference where you can build on and modify and do whatever. Although you most certainly can do it, but that's not its primary purpose. Its primary purpose is so that you can download it, you can use it as a game engine to build a game, you release it, you're done. No need to fiddle around and modify and implement your own game engine ideas. It's designed to be the game engine, so you, you don't have to do anything else. That, And because of that, because it's intended just to be downloaded and used, it's. I think it's important to make it as accessible and easy to learn as possible. So that's why it's in Eclipse, and that's why it's using the Java standard coding conventions now. That's what more Java developers are probably familiar with. And I think that by itself outweighs any advantage that my own personal Vim and naming conventions and whatnot system could possibly have had. So that's why I've done that. That's also why I have documentation everywhere, so people can easily... Well, they have documentation they can look up and use. And in fact, if I do a clock of the D.A.R.E. engine now, you notice, yeah, look at that. There are more comments than code <laughs> in the D.A.R.E. engine right now. So I think it's f fair to say there's a, quite a bit of documentation on it. It's reasonably well documented. All I have to do is go into the doc folder, click on the index.html, and there you go, it'll take you into the doc into the Java doc. So you can look up, say, well, here's the bitmap, here's the description of how the class works, and here's all the constructors, here's how all the methods work, how to use them. There you go. Just like that. You can look up how Quantry works, just like this as well. So, yeah, it's documented. There's nice documentation for everything. And those are... Oh, there's actually one more thing. And finally ending my list of things that I've changed that I think you should be aware of. Now it has reasonably simple app applet support. So I can run right now. See it's running as an application. If I say run as Java applet, there you go. It can run as an applet as well. It's as simple as that. So yeah, you can easily cross-develop an applet and Java application at once, which I think is kind of nice. So with that, that's really the big things I just wanted to share with you. But there are a few things I'd appreciate some input on. Notably, there's the fact that with all this documentation and organization and whatnot, this is, the Dare Engine's really getting pretty close to a version 1.0 release. It's really started getting out of the development phase, really into the, well, into the phase where you can use it as a practical game engine. So, in light of that, I think it's probably a good idea at this point to make a few test games, see how it works out, see where it's working, see where it isn't, just to clean it up before the official D.A.R.E. Engine 1.0 release. And I actually originally had a few things in mind that I was just going to build and test out myself, and I might still do that, but I figured, you know what, this is an open source project. It's community driven. And in light of that, I think it's worth offering you guys a chance to 
voice your opinions. What what games do you think I should make? It doesn't have to be a specific game. It can be a type of game. It can be an idea. It can be a genre. It can be a theme like in Lot of Dare. It can be whatever. You know, I'm just making things out to test it. And I figured, hey, wouldn't it be kind of cool if other people could suggest types of games that I make? Because as with everything else, I'm going to be live streaming it. And yeah. So, that's where I'd like some input. And I'll see... I'll look at the most popular ideas, and I'll try to do them. If they're practical, of course. I mean, I'm not going to create this new epic, insane game as my very first game, because, well, that's probably... There's probably going to be a few obvious things to fix right away. But, yeah. That's really what I want to make this update about. So, feel free to post those suggestions in the comments. And, yeah, so, hope you enjoyed. Hope you learned. And I will see you whenever I get some more free time to actually make videos again. <laughs> Thank you. See you then.